By the end of 1941, the world was at war. Britain was being bombed by the German Air Force, the Luftwaffe. Japan had just attacked the United States at Pearl Harbor, while Germany attacked the Soviet Union, breaking the non-aggression pact between them. With the entry of the United States and the Soviet Union, World War II span across the whole world, including countries from all continents. Because of the size of the war, we have to divide our focus of the war into two arenas of conflict. Firstly, the war in Europe, and secondly, the war in the Pacific. The entry of the United States and Russia in World War II can be seen as the major turning points in World War II. On both the Western and the Eastern fronts, the end of the Axis powers had begun. To revise who the Axis powers were, and what they had in common, look towards page 74 in your textbook. After the Soviet Union and the United States joined World War II, the Axis armies faced difficulties. The German attack against Russia was reversed at the Battle of Stalingrad. The Russian winter and the size of the Red Army were too much for the Germans and 90,000 German soldiers surrendered the Red Army began its unstoppable march towards Berlin. On the Western Front, the English Channel and the British Navy stopped the spread of the Third Reich, while Germany could fly across and bomb Britain. On D-Day, the 6th of June 1944, Allied forces, now including the formidable US Army, landed on the western coast of France. From there, the Allied forces would reclaim France advancing towards Berlin. It was during this advance that the concentration camps of Nazi Germany were discovered. World War II in Europe ended after the Red Army reached Berlin from the east and the rest of the Allied Army reached Berlin from the west. When the Allied forces occupied Berlin, the last remaining Nazi territory, Hitler realized that he had lost the war. He blamed his generals for having betrayed him and committed suicide in his bunker on the 30th of April 1945. A week later, Germany surrendered and World War II in Europe had come to an end. VE Day, also known as Victory in Europe Day, was officially declared on the 8th of May 1945. After Germany's defeat, the leaders of the Allied forces, Winston Churchill from Britain, Harry Truman from the United States and Joseph Stalin from the Soviet Union, met in Germany at the Potsdam Conference where the future of Europe was to be decided. The Allied countries differed in how they wanted Germany to be treated and how severely they wanted Germany to be treated. World War II was not over yet. The United States was still at war with Japan in the Pacific. At the Potsdam Conference, President Truman told Stalin that the US had developed a new weapon of unusual destructive force. The Manhattan Project in the United States military had developed a way to harness nuclear energy as a weapon of mass destruction. On August 6, 1945, the United States dropped an atomic bomb on Hiroshima in Japan. Three days later, a second atomic bomb was dropped on the city of Nagasaki. These were the only times the nuclear weapons have been used in war. On September 2, Japan formally surrendered and World War II had finally ended. <laughs> 